Welcome back. In recent weeks, we've read stories about kids from different cultures, a story about a girl in Italy, and last week, a story about a girl in California whose family was from India. And today, we're going to read a story about a boy whose family heritage is Taiwanese. Eyes That Speak to the Stars Written by Joanna Ho Illustrated by Zhong Ho Joanna is the daughter of immigrants from Taiwan and China. She holds a BA in Psychology from the University of Pennsylvania and a Master's from the Principal Leadership Institute at Berkeley. She's been an English teacher, a creator of educator professional development, and a high school vice principal. She currently lives in the Bay Area, California, with her two goofball children. Their nicknames are Boogie, short for Booger, and Stink Bomb, which tells you all you need to know about them and her. When she's not at home stepping on Legos and chasing around a five-year-old who refuses to put on her clothes, she is at school doing big important things like chasing around teenagers who refuse to go to class. Zhang Ho is not related to Joanna Ho. Zhang was born and raised in Hue Imperial City in Vietnam and studied graphic design at the Hue Arts University, but she now lives and works in Ho Chi Minh City. She worked in the design and advertising industries before deciding to become a freelance illustrator. When she's not drawing, she enjoys cooking, watching movies, walking, and tending to her plants. The other day when Baba picked me up from school, I didn't run in for a hug the way I usually do. I stared at my toes, where it was safe. What's wrong? Bubba asked, and all my hurt tumbled out. Kurt drew a picture of our friends, I said. He pointed at a person with eyes like two lines stretched across his face and told me, that one is you. But it didn't look like me at all. When we got home, Baba stood with me in front of a mirror and said, Your eyes rise to the skies and speak to the stars. The comets and constellations show you their secrets. Your eyes can foresee the future, just like mine. Baba's eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars are filled with all the surprises he can't wait to give me throughout the day. When he lifts me above his head and cries, ready for takeoff, before running through the house like we're headed toward the heavens, his eyes shine like runway lights and tell me, lift up your arms, my son, you're going to soar above the clouds. Baba always looks up, and his eyes are just like Agong's. Agong's eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars gaze into the distance, like they're looking at the world through lenses of time. The voices of ancestors whisper in his ear, speaking in lilting languages of rice paddies, climbing mountains like stairways to the sky. Mazu's miracles showing mercy from on high, and mango milk from night markets lit with bulbs of light. Agong always has an answer for every question I ask on our early morning walks. But when I hug him goodnight, he cups my face in his hands and looks at me like I am the only answer that matters. 
Agon holds the wisdom of generations. And his eyes are just like Didi's. Didi's eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars are closed so long I grow an inch waiting for him to wake up. When Didi's eyelids finally flutter open, I orbit his crib, making funny faces and singing silly songs until his laugh grows so big it spreads up his cheeks and makes his eyes squeeze shut again. He looks at me like I'm the world, but he is the sun filling my days with light. Didi's eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars are just like mine. My eyes shine like sunlight rays that break through dark and doubt. They lift their sights on paths of flight that soar above the clouds. My eyes gaze into space and glimpse trails of light inviting me into impossibilities. The comets and constellations show me their secrets because I am the emperor of my own destiny. I read a brighter future in the stars and will fight to make it reality. My eyes that rise to the skies and speak to the stars are visionary. They are Baba, and Agong, and Didi. They are me. And they are powerful. The End Joanna says that when she was hunting for holiday books with diverse characters for her newborn, she couldn't find that many, so she started writing children's books. She believes all kids need to see themselves and others in books. And you will have noticed she wove some of Taiwanese culture into this book. You know, in Bellevue, and especially in our Crossroads neighborhood here, we come from all over the world. 103 languages are spoken in Bellevue School District with over 42% of students speaking a first language other than English. Pretty cool, huh? We are right here in Bellevue, part of the united world that God loves. All people, of all nations, of all cultures. So come back next week. Let's read another story together.